Welcome back to a brand new vlog of Pankaj Snow. This is Utsa with my wife Urvi and today we are going to embark on a very special journey from Mumbai to Ahmedabad. We'll be traveling in a very special train, the luxurious Tejas Express. If you like our content, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel Pankaj Snow. So today we are traveling on 82901 the Tejas Express which runs from the Mumbai Central Station to the Ahmedabad junction and this train starts at 3:45 pm in the afternoon from Mumbai Central and reaches Ahmedabad at 10:05 pm the total distance that we'll be covering today is 493 kilometers and we have six stations in between this train as you can see is very colorful the outer wall of the train is very beautifully decorated in yellow and orange color and one more interesting fact is this is one of the second trains that is commercially run in india and the first one being from delhi to lucknow the train uses web 7 loco which is one of the most successful locos of indian railways it can reach speeds up to 140 km per hour So we are just settling into our seats and it is quite comfortable. Yes, the interiors are very nice, clean compartment, big luxurious seats with two and three configuration, overhead reading lamps and storage area and buttons to automatically take the curtain down and up. So we are just starting our journey from Mumbai Central to Ahmedabad. and this train in between stops at six station though this is a semi high speed train of indian railway but the speed is a little lesser compared to the tejas express that we did last vlog that was really fascinating if you have not missed that go and check it out and the train started within 5 minutes the service has started they gave us some water meal and water everything is included within the ticket price the price we are paying is 1400 rupees for each seat in a chair berth the executive class goes even higher than this and the other thing is this train provides a dynamic pricing that means the price of the tickets keeps on changing based on the availability and the demand Tejas Express. So everything is very different and very special. The people who are serving us food, they are dressed so colorfully. That is maybe because it's a corporate train and that is run by the Indian Railways. And the sanitization here is very well took care of. They are cleaning everything. And when we boarded a train, there was a temperature check and sanitization of the bag as well. So that's a uh, yay. It's 4:30 p.m. and it's time for some snacks. We have these kachoris. <laughs> Crisp and fresh. And we have these Maharashtrian special makrevaris. It's really tasty, very good. And we also have some moon cream muffins. I absolutely love them. They are dripping with chocolate, as you can see already. Let me try it. Tastes great. And also, along with that, they have given this butternut spice butternut. That is also very tasty. It's from Amul, and this is also a Britannia cake. So they have given all branded things, and everything is very fresh and nice. 
it's almost evening now we are 168 kilometers into our journey and we have reached our second stoppage for the day this is Papi railway station and we are currently standing at platform number one the train is almost on the right time we are cruising along very well we have officially entered Gujarat and now we just left the Vapi station and the halt here was only for two minutes and the next stop that will be Surat which is a big station in Gujarat the station has automated doors which closes and opens automatically when it stops at a station and it leaves so it is not advisable to get out we as Indians really need to get used to these automated doors. These are first initials that have been taken by Indian Railways in Tejas Express. Most of the Indian Rails have doors that are not automatically opening and closing. So if you are planning to get down, you have to be cautious about that. It's almost evening time and we are tracking our journey on the Rail Yard 3 app, which is currently showing an 18 minutes delay. Entering the second station in Gujarat and we have almost traveled 263 kilometers. We are in Surat. This is known as the textile capital of India. The train left in 5 minutes and the dinner is already served. So we just crossed the Bari station and it is now about 8 pm and dinner is already here. So let's check out what we have got. We have got nice vegetarian food right now, got some lentils, some steamed rice, and the paneer, uh, just the paneer first. And there's some mutton paneer, there's paneer with beans, and that's really making a very good combination with the rice. The taste is very smiley, it's not at all spicy, that's a fantastic thing, and we have some fried potatoes. Mm. That's also very tasty. Along with this, we have a uh, I'm really impressed with the quality of food that is served on this train. The roti and the lentils, they are also tasting very nice. It's a very homely taste. So if you are traveling in this train, you did not worry about food. And to end that meal, we have some curd and some shrikhand. Let me try it. And the shrikhand is very nice, it's very tasty. I quite like it. And the overall taste of the food were very mild and very good. just crossed the Nadiyat junction and we are 446 kilometers into the journey. This train is moving at around 125 kilometers per hour and it is one of the fastest trains in India. We are almost towards the end of our journey. Hopefully we reach Ahmedabad in time. We are entering our destination and seems everybody is very eager to devote the train. We have reached Ahmedabad in time and we are very excited to explore Gujarat from here on. We are here in Ahmedabad junction and this is the start of our Gujarat exploration. We'll end this vlog here and start exploring Gujarat from the next one. If you like our vlog, then please do like, share and subscribe to our channel Ponkers Not and let's get Ponkers in the next one.